Welcome to our Recon Scanner demo. In the next few minutes, I'll walk you through the key features and functionality of our proactive trade assessment solution for Veeam Data Platform. This is a brand new feature, the first integration of Cofware technology into Veeam's products. You're probably already familiar with Veeam's recent acquisition of Cofware, the leading incident response firm specialized in cyber extortion. When customers are in the middle of a ransomware attack, they call Cover. Cover by Veeam assists customers with technology and expertise from thousands of cases handled over the years. When a customer calls, one of the first actions is to have the recon scanner running with the customer to gather information about the ransomware attack, also known as forensics. Now, in the case of Veeam Data Platform, the recon scanner is used proactively, a proactive assessment before a cyber attack. Recon scans the Veeam backup and replication servers. It's a small agent that runs in just a few minutes, gathers information from events, then the data collected is encrypted and sent to Cover Cloud Environment for analysis. The results show the different findings mapped to adversary tactics, techniques, and procedures, TTPs, and indicators of compromise from Cover's database that have been gathered across thousands of real ransomware incidents. And that's where we are right now, in the timeline of activity and results. The first screen that users see is a summary of the findings classified on critical, high, medium, and low severity based on a risk indicator. The findings are updated after every scan and show the severity of potential problems. Let's take a look here in the portal some of those high severity findings. You can see here the timestamp, the host name, in this case for one backup server, and the different types of events with their classification. You can immediately see here that we have a couple of VBR deletion events, something suspicious that might require further analysis. As we scroll down, we can see some files access and the execution of a program, something which is not normal, especially when we see the minicats executable. This is a tool used by trade actors to steal credentials before ransomware attacks and therefore highlighted as high risk. We can even identify the user that executed that tool and unauthorized user on the server. Now we go to the timeline. As you can see here, we can filter just for those high severity findings and we can filter by other options such as a specific techniques. The key benefits is that we are identifying suspicious activity and potential attacks before the actual attack. That's what it's known as the dwell time, the time between the server being compromised and attack. Dwell time could be hours, days, or weeks, and by running the recon scanner, we improve greatly the chances to stop those threats. We can also see backup server specific events by filtering by VBR events. We can see, for example, deletions and settings and credential changes, clearly something to pay attention to. As you probably already noticed, we have flagged events in yellow. These flagged events can be downloaded to a CSV file and share it with members of your security team for further analysis. You can also search here for the different types of events, or in this case, I'm looking for the Mimikatz executable. The next item to show you is the triage report. It provides a summary of those techniques utilized. The Mimikatz tool is mapped to T1003, which is for the OS credential dumping technique. It also shows you the timestamp of the first known flag event and the last one. There are different techniques found on that period of time on the flagged events with the first and last time it occurred on the server. That's important information for the analysis. We provide here information with more details coming from the MITRE attack framework documentation. It includes information for potential mitigations. Now let's look at the summary. Here you have a graph where you can see on a day by day if there are spikes with potential issues. An example is the number of program executions in different days. You can filter out techniques directly in the chart. And as we were looking at the credential dumping, where there was obviously a spike on that specific day. 
As you can see, there's plenty of information and findings in the backup servers that it's mapped to different potential adversary techniques. There are over 400 different techniques that could be mapped and displayed on the portal, including the execution of ransomware. That was a quick overview. Reach out to us in the Beam.com website or to the Beam sales team if you want to hear more about it. Thank you.